We just learned from a new video update that Tesla's much expected 4680 battery cell pilot production line hits 70 to 80 percent yield, according to this insider report, which I'm about to tell you. Welcome back, dear friends, to uh, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle hourly news and ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage. And please give us thumbs up if you find this report informative. Simon Alvarez has the latest on this topic from the teslarady.com saying Tesla has a number of programs that have the potential to change markets and one of these is arguably the 4680 battery cells. Created using a dry electrode process and optimized for price and efficiency, the 4680 batteries could very well be the key to Tesla's possible invasion of the mainstream auto and energy market. If Tesla pulls off its 4680 production ramp, its place at the summit of the sustainable energy market would be all but ensured, says Simon Alvarez from teslarady.com. Sadly, Tesla's publicly disclosed target for the 4680 sales production ramp appears to have been made on Elon time, which a lot of people now kind of question because when Elon says something will be ready next year, that means could be next year, could be in a few years, or if something is ready four weeks recently that he said about the FSD's new version update, people said, well, uh, let's see what's Elon time. This means that during battery day last year, Tesla's target of hitting a capacity of 10 gigawatt hour by late September 2020 included some optimistic assumptions similar to other projects like Elon Musk's alien uh, dreadnought factory. However, the pilot production of the 4680 battery cells have met some challenges. Tesla admitted to these difficulties during the quarter two 2021 earnings call when Tesla CEO Elon Musk explained that one of the main challenges in the 4680 cell production ramp was related to the battery's ca uh, calendaring, uh, calendaring or the process when the dry cathode material is squashed to a particular height, partly due to the use of nickel in the 4680. 80 cells, which are extremely hard, some of the calendar, uh, calendar rows end up being dented. This was an issue that presented itself only in the Pilot 4680 battery line, not during the bench and lab stages. Tesla senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering Drew Baglino, however, emphasized that the challenges in the Kato Road facility are an engineering program and not a science issue. This meant that with enough work and optimization, Tesla should be able to address the calendaring issue of the dry battery cells. Citing sources familiar with the matter, Tesla investor and host of YouTube's uh, Hyper Challenge channel, Galileo Russell, recently shared some details suggesting that Tesla may have hit some breakthroughs with the production of the 4680 battery cells. As per the Tesla investor, the production yield of the 4680 cells has reportedly risen to about 70 to 80 percent, up from just about 20 percent last year. This means that a decreasing portion of the 4680 cells produced today are seeing issues and Tesla's pilot battery line at Cato Road is starting to close in on the acceptable yield of factories like Giga Nevada. While the delays in the 4680 cells appear to have affected the rollout of products like the Cybertruck and the Semi, it is starting to become evident that Tesla is about to hit some respectable battery output from its pilot line in California. Thankfully, the company has already initiated some contingencies that address the 4680 sales delays. The production of the Model Y in Giga Berlin and Giga Texas, as I reported a few days ago, would be launched with 2170 battery packs, for example, at least until the 4680 sales are available. I will have the hyper changes uh, feature on Tesla's 4680 battery production challenges in the description of this video. 
video, friends. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think, friends? For, for example, when you watch that video, um, one person says that he may be wrong on 1 minute 38 seconds. Um, he says it will not be different which battery you're using. Basically, that's the thought. But, you know, and um, uh, even if the Tesla keeps the range the same, uh, because the 4680 cells will be tabless and will manage heat better and better supercharging curve. So that's one thing. And second, less amount of casting um, casing material per volume of active battery material and fewer cell connectors between less cells will result in a lighter pack even with the same number of kilowatt hours, meaning a lighter curve weight. Um, as Gally said uh, in that video, actually difference will be incremental, certainly not worth upgrading car for normal buyers. However, this incremental difference will be huge for Tesla at the enterprise level. Another person says, I think the difference will be greater than he thinks. We know that at some point, well, Galileo was basically saying, don't wait until the 4680 battery cell comes because Tesla is going to make eventually everything the same. This is why people are saying, I think the difference will be greater than he thinks. We know that at some point, the Model Y will end up with the 4680 cells and structural battery pack mega cast. We also know that when you add this together, you end up with 30% range improvement without any improvements in the cell chemistry or DBE technology, etc. So this gives the Model Y a range of about 423 miles EPA. So I would call that more than incremental and would allow Tesla to offer a true Model Y uh, SR and SR Plus that would basically be today's LR and have more than acceptable range. What Tesla do regarding range, etc. is another topic and not easy to figure out, but we will not have too long to wait and see at this rate of program. Another person says Tesla will fill the structural battery pack only to match 2170 range. There is no need to add more when they can't meet demand. 4680 supply is limited and the competition still can't match up. Plus, it's a cost saving to Tesla to limit sales. In 18 months, maybe a bump in range is called for by Model Y currently ships with a 82 kilowatt hour pack that hasn't been software enabled for full stage. Uh, when that gets enabled, expect 342 miles EPA, which is approximately 5% friends, which is an in line with the 2170 chemistry improvements claimed by Panasonic. Well, friends, let me see what do you think about this report and what do you think about Tesla achieving new milestone with the new breakthrough with its 4680 battery cell pilot production line hitting 70 to 80 percent yield compared to 20 percent yield last year this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla and electric vehicle news that comes hourly within hours and also ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and be strong be dedicated to your faith and god bless you all and let's do everything we do in this life with love peace be with all of you and see you soon in our next report